Police and paramedics were dispatched to a mother's $1 million house at least twice before she reportedly shot dead her baby daughter and then killed herself, according to her neighbors. In the Westchester County, New York, hamlet of Summers, at approximately 7 a.m. On Saturday, dear. Crystal Carchetta, 40, shot the infant before turning the pistol on herself. Timothy Tolte, Carchetta's husband of 37 years, was not home at the time of the shootings. However, Carchetta's parents were. According to their neighbors, this wasn't the first time that the very private family's home needed police and medical care. They had ambulances and police come to their house too, maybe three times this summer, according to Bob Stewart, 71, who lived next to the couple's home, who spoke to the New York Post. Two or more times. I witnessed the cops and ambulances pulling up. The family, according to Stuart's wife Betsy, were very quiet people, kept to themselves, to the extent that they hadn't been heard from in almost two years. The Stuarts said they were unaware of the doctor's pregnancy. The cause of the earlier calls for police and paramedics to the house has not been made public. The kids' age and gender have not yet been disclosed by the authorities, although an internet registration says the youngster was just four, half months old. Later, law enforcement officials confirmed to the Rockland slash Westchester Journal News that the infant was a girl and Carchetta and the energy bar tycoon's sole child. A motive for the murder-suicide has not yet been revealed, and the oncologist's friends and former patients are supporting her. Dia. Carchetta a hematology oncology expert at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City, had shared a $1 million property with Tolte in the Granite Springs neighborhood of Summers. Tolte posted pictures of the pair in Austin, Texas, where he said Carchetta had visited him when they initially started dating, on his Instagram page. The two exchanged vows in January 2019 at a party in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, following a union Tolte referred to as so special on social media. He stated at the moment, My wife. To make our wedding so exceptional, it took us a year to plan and a lifetime to find all the lovely individuals. He now owns his own energy bar business, the Talty Bar, and has previously posted online about how his wife utilized her expertise in medicine and science to help him develop the greatest product. In New York City, Carchetta was a board-certified medical oncologist and hematologist who focused on breast cancer. She won the Intern of the Year Award as a resident in internal medicine at the Hofstra North Shore LIJ School of Medicine at North Shore University Hospital. In addition, she held the position of Chief Fellow at Mount Sinai Hospital after completing a fellowship in medical oncology and hematology. Both the American Society of Clinical Oncology and the American Society of Hematology accepted Carchetta as a member. She graduated from Albany Medical College with a doctorate in medicine, and there she was admitted into the Gold Humanism Monas Society for exemplifying excellence in clinical humanism, leadership, compassion, and service commitment. Carchetta was referred to in a biography as a fitness fanatic and ardent runner. 
As a kid, she was frequently seen wrapping her dolls in gauze, indicating that becoming a doctor was in her DNA. Her mother's closest friend, who died from breast cancer while she was in eighth grade, is claimed to have inspired her to seek a profession in medicine. Later, she started working as a clinical trial investigator for breast cancer. Eribar said on Facebook that she was extremely heartbroken by the news and that her friends and patients will remember her for her kindness. Barr writes, she was my friend at Albany Med and Residency. I've always admired her. Additionally, Koshetta was recalled by Maureen Daly as being true to your profession. She said on Facebook about the doctor. You were caring and very compassionate to your patients. I will miss our talks. Karshetta was described as a star in her field, dedicated and lovely, whip-smart, and a competitive athlete by author Cambry Cruz. She and I co-hosted a breast cancer presentation years after my cancer surgery, and she informed me about certain cutting-edge studies and trials, Cruz said. I decided to forego chemo as part of one trial because of her. The author wrote, I don't know what was going on in her life for her to feel this was the finest finish to her narrative, but I know a big community of survivors, patients and colleagues are broken-hearted. I am grateful that I was one of her patients because she truly cared about us.